Okay, sorry about that. I had to go and delete some junk files off my phone. Um, an average video of the last two or three that I've recorded seemed to be about one and a half gigabytes, and I killed it about 3.1 gigabytes, so I should be able to finish this up. But yeah, one of my mentors, um, past chef's name Rosie, uh, wanted to remind you that there is also a, uh, a humanoid crawler in the story of the Wendigo, actually. There are two instances of the Wendigo. There's a white 116 foot tall deer with sunken in eyes and gray skin, and there's also a humanoid that looks like a cannibal, ca uh, a cannibal like human dweller from like that movie from Scotland called The Descent, actually, which is actually a test that I gave to my greatest dunce, actually, my pagan dropout, actually, who will remain nameless, believe it or not, but I gave him a test that involved a creature called the Wendigo, similar to a wolf test that I gave him on a totem animal test. What part of the creature are you imprinting on? I'm going to tease you with that wolf face just a tiny little bit. Would you trade a sense of smell for a pair of hands? I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, what part are you imprinting on? Because that is a cursed object, unfortunately, sir. But yeah, that's basically a human trying to be a dragon. Which is why I say that they're our weeaboos. When I wake people to the fact that they're reptilian humans, I affectionately call them in response to being an iguana or a wolf I, or a shepherd. I call them monkey dragons because I try to reward them on that fact. I do reference uh, basically games like War of the Monsters or a Dark Horse Godzilla series called, um, well, it's, it was a six-part series where Godzilla was getting poison, couldn't use his breath, so we had to fight a giant bat with, you know, handheld objects. It was called Bagara, actually. But anyway, um, I'm going to have links down below. I'm sorry I had to upload this video in three parts, but I am not recording this shit again because I am just not patient enough. But yeah, you will basically get a few sources like the last one. And I'm probably going to try to let these couple of videos catch on first. You know, I'm not going to hit you with too much stuff because I am going to draft out a syllabus, actually. We might go into Godzilla versus Kong's history or we might go into Basilisk history. Not quite sure yet, but I'll have it worked out within the next couple of days. I was originally going to do it every weekend, but I'm just going to do it whenever I get a chance. So anyway, you do not... Th listen, the whole reason I picked this is because I wanted to be safe to pass around. Instead of the upside down one. Pagans don't believe in Satan unless you talk about a horse. Okay, if you have a problem with it, you don't have to pass it around. Using the pseudonyms. If you don't want it to show up in your friends list, that's fine. But look, I'll send you a message if you want if you want to be a part of my recruitment and I'll let you approve the, and I'll let you send the friend request. Okay. No disrespect either way. But anyway, I'll have the next lesson out probably the next couple of days. Okay. The next couple of days at work, I go in at three 30 instead of five 30 because they've been really nice the last couple of days. So I'm working until Sunday and then I'll have a couple of days off and I might go in at five 30 on Wednesday when I go back because we're closed Tuesdays and Mondays actually, but I'll keep you guys updated. So stay woke. Stay lit. I'm also going to have jokes I'm going to post every now and again. Okay. A couple of you guys might get a shout out, actually. I'm, I, I refuse. This is what I tell people. I refuse to not make this funny at least three times a day. Something I tell people is look up three YouTube videos a day. I can give you three third eye punches in the nuts, and I can give you three YouTube videos. So I'll have this one posted for, I, I, it doesn't matter which one I post first. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. You've been great. Thanks for the, uh, being patient with the three parts. I'm going to let you go. Ned Flanders out.